that Canadian YouTuber. I don't know. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. That goes. Good yeah, morning, yeah. Good ha, ha, ha. afternoon, good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when. What's going on? <sighs> Getting duplication. I don't want to hear all that. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Coyote Dreams, how's it going? Coyote Dreams in the house. Uh, we've got Nathaniel on Discord already. Discord's up and open running for anyone that wants to join in there. Howdy, howdy. We've got Jess on Discord. I'm much distracted, but hi. And I have no idea where I am with this W900L here. Oh boy, I have to remember the controls. <clears throat> I haven't played this in like five or six weeks. Wide awake, how's it going? Where are we? Do we have a load? See, in one chat we have somebody dreaming, and in another chat we have somebody that's wide awake. Ooh, wide awake. You need to drop that E at the end. <laughs> Jess, it's just Jess. Shh. I get in trouble, for, or I, I don't get in trouble for that. I learned quickly. Um, that's not what I want. Here. Okay, we seem to be sitting in a loading bay here for some reason. Because I think you dropped off the last time you streamed. Probably dropped a load there and then ended the video. Yep, you're probably right. <clears throat> so where are we on the map? We're in Yakima. Oh, I was going to pick up uh, my own trailer. I wanted to pick up Super Bees. Um, so where is... It says I can't join you. Why? You can't join? Why can you not join? Convoy, let's just check the convoy. <clears throat> I have a mod that's activated. Let me get rid I have, I don't think any mods. Hey Mimi. Mimi. All right, so world map. Where, where's my home base? <clears throat> um. Mac, do I have this? I, I, it's been such a long time since I played this game, I don't... No, that's going to be our home base right there, right? That's going to be our garage. It looks like I've purchased that. Let's go there. Let's go to Wenatchee. We'll just go empty to Wenatchee and then figure this out. <coughs> so I want to drop off my uh, probably have to put it in gear turn the parking brake off there we go uh, there's Nathan in in the chat Every time I start this game, I'm so rusty. I should really play it a little more often. Okay, we got high beams on. How do I turn those off? Sorry if I called you by your real name. The channel has literally got my real name on, on it, so... Ah. You're, you're not outing me. I wasn't smart enough to put a fake name up. 
<laughs> yeah. So I sent you the the guy I was talking to or talking about in DM. Call me mail or call the mail. He runs for it's him. It's in him. Discord? Yeah, in your DMs. Okay, I'll uh, check that out after the stream. Thanks. Yep. Canadian. I, I, I know the only other Canadian trucker tru like I know is uh, Trucker Josh. Trucker Josh. And then there's... Uh, oh, who else? Chance, Chance Barber. Which he's from Merritt, BC. Oh yeah, and then there's Edison Motors as well. Yeah, Champ Barber is Edison. Actually. Oh okay, so that is okay. Yep. Uh, they're they've moved from Merritt or are moving from Merritt to. Uh, the old the old Hayes Hayes shop. They're moving out of Merritt to up north. I think Smithers or somewhere up north there on Highway 18. Yeah, there's an old tr or an old Hayes uh, warehouse up there. Like I guess they needed more room. Yeah, because that's a Hayes. Uh, if you remember back in the old days when the Hayes trucks were all or a big thing. Whatever happened? They're moving. They get bought they, out and they're bankrupt. They got bought out by uh, Mac, actually. Makes from sense. from what I've been or from what I heard from one of my uh, sources on YouTube, and uh, uh the Hayes shop is gonna be a lot nicer than what they have now in merit yeah it's a wide awake uh, yeah when we do a live stream you can chat in the comments anytime you want not the first so, answer so how are you liking the B doubles it's it's gonna take me a little to get used to it. I'm, I'm learning how to back up all over again. Like I did the B train for what three years before I went to the uh, the quad deck. So I've run Bs before. It's just gonna take a little while to get used to them. Um, we're gonna see yeah. if we can cr talk to them to Kenworth and see if we can get some extra horsepower added to my truck. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if my no. engine if they can crank more on, or crank more onto my engine or not. Some engines are are locked in. Some engines you can add the extra horses because 500 horses yeah. is just a little bit low for a B train. Yep. Now what what engines in your truck right now? That's got the Cummins 500 uh, 850. Horse, yeah. yeah. So coming so, to the, the 15x or whatever. The yeah, or 15. X 15 or whatever. I can't yeah, remember. x 15. Yeah. Now, how many how many trucks do they have in the fleet? Like over a thousand. Our our new company. No, uh, to met or. Kenworth. Yeah. Or no, it, no. You're the, the, the uh, new company I work for has a total of nine trucks. Odd. Tiny, small, little company, which is awesome. We don't have mm -hmm. 15 different bosses anymore. It's just my boss and the owner. That's it. So it's just boss, owner, and you, and a couple of others. Yeah, there's there's nine nine drivers. That that's it. Now, do they have a logging division up nope, there? No, just flat deck, just super bees. Ah, uh, just super bees. Yep. No grain, no grain haul, and no. No, nope, uh, just just flatbed super bee. That's it. Nice. Nice. It's it's so much simpler. So much. It feels freeing. 
it, it feels like I'm an owner operator, but working for a company. Yep. Yeah, wild awake. I know hardly anything about Discord either. I'm, I'm still learning. It's definitely a, a, Discord's a pretty good platform for communicating with people. Uh, I should pull into the right lane here. Yeah, if you if y'all ever need help, I can set up this Discord and give her make roles like. I think Jess has done a really good job with setting up Discord. It's. Mm -hmm. As it gets bigger, we'll have to put in moderators and stuff, but... All right, we so... We have one moderator in it. We just don't need anything like that for the laid back. Not yet. Hey, Not let's ride. Yet. Oh yeah, we're doing giveaway. Let uh, once, once I've switched to the Super B, remind me to... Do the giveaway. What's the giveaway about? Uh, I'm giving away 10 memberships, so whoever wins a ten, the memberships for one month, you have access to all the bonus videos. And if we you specify YouTube gives them away, yes. YouTube chooses who gets them, not us. I can just say give out memberships, and YouTube does random selection of who can get them. You have to make sure you turn it on. So. Yep, that's already turned on. If you, for, for, for anyone that wants to win membership, uh, click the join button. You don't have to join, just click the join button and uh, click the three dots and there you can turn yep. gift memberships on. You want to make sure that's on. And if that's on, you can win yep, memberships. That's on. And once you turn it on one on one channel, it, it's it's basically on for all of YouTube. And completely free. It's come to my attention that some people don't realize that subscribing is free as well. Which is just like, how do people not know? But I guess people just don't know if no one's ever told them. Subscribing to people on yep. YouTube is free. Yep. So, this, what, we're on Highway 97 here, aren't we? I recognize this. This is Status Pass. It's got to be Status Pass. Now, do y'all, or do you come down to the U.S.? I did a lot, but not with a new company. Oh. With, <laughs> Let's right ask where I am in game, and then he goes, they, or they go, never mind, because I just talked about where we are. Oh yeah, see, there we go, the GPS says Highway 97, so, yep, this has got to be status pass between uh, Ellensburg and Wenatchee. Much bigger pass in real life, because we're already going downhill. Jess is saying, if anyone needs help turning the gift memberships on, ask how, because we're going to be giving them away here shortly, so... Okay, why do we connect those three dots? Uh, click the join button, right next to the subscribe button. And then once you click the join button, then you'll see three top dots in the top right. Okay, I might yeah. have to. Go so head north. Wait, where 
Cruise control doesn't work, I just drive as fast as I can. This is a tight corner in real world. status pass almost every week for a few years. Yeah, that'd be a bit of work. I was just about to say, I wouldn't mind if my engine brake sounded like that, that loud. But no, I would, because I just leave my engine brakes on all the time. Even if signs say, no engine brakes allowed, they're on. Question for everyone in uh, the okay. Do y'all know Bob do y'all know Bob Spooner? I don't know a Bob Spooner. Wide awake says they've got gift membership enabled. That's it. That's once it. once that's enabled you're you're good to go. The rest is up to chance. The rest is up to chance. YouTube will just yep. randomly pick ten people that watch my channel. Don't worry, I unclicked it, so I don't win again. So you don't win again? Yeah. She stole one last time. I made her, I made her pay for two more because she stole one. This is, this is how you have to pick up a trailer, right? I can't remember. Yeah, you just basically go in that shop, straight forward and click that icon. All right, so, trailer management, I'm guessing that's what I want, there we go, I want the Super B, different driver Michael. is using it already. Okay, Michael, good morning. <laughs> How's it going, Michael? Well, it says what Juan says in every video. Uh, if the other drivers that I've hi hired is using... Flat deck, do I just buy another one? I put all my money in our trucks and the drivers. Let's let's just buy another trailer. How do I do that? Uh, purchase trailer. Flat deck. Can I just go here? I want no. 
trailer hookups. Oh, and if you hover that eye icon right above the uh, purchase symbol, it will tell you if you're... If it's what? Oh, if it's illegal, if it's illegal uh, to run in California. Oh, really? Because, yeah. Doesn't say, but. Because, because California, or because most states have a law, like a bridge law. Yeah, bridge laws, yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh! Go from Super B to a, or go from a B to a Super B. <clears throat> there we go. I want yep. black. Solid black. That's it. And if, and if you uh, want some really nice uh, wheels, uh, I would recommend the ah, Smarties yeah. wheels. For the mod, I am not playing with any mods because uh, multiplayer. I uh, want people, I want it to be easy for people to join. Yeah. Okay, I'm probably missing a bunch of comments. Put a toolbox here. I'm not sure, Michael, the temperature is here. I want aluminum wheels. Hang on, I'll tell y'all in a minute. Hang on. Temperature? It says 17. For me. I don't want chrome, I just want some... Decent aluminum. I think I'm just going to go with this. Standard aluminum. With a tire max system because my trailers have a tire max on them. Right now in Canada at 41 Fahrenheit. What part of but Canada? If, uh, the whole entire Canada. It's like saying the U.S. is, is, is 7 degrees. Just give me a general rough area where you are. I won't give you a rough idea. I'll tell you. A, I'll tell you the city, Penticton, British Columbia. Penticton, so British Columbia. There you go. It's basically nine degrees Celsius. Seventeen but here, so it depends on where. Hang on. I think I'm just going to set every rim up like that. Standard. I wish it would just automatically. T -t -t Pen. Hmm. Pen. Tick. Ton. Three letters each. P E N T I C T O N. What 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 information's already out on the internet that I don't have to worry about? Well, the funny thing is that Michael could easily just tell you. Because he knows where we live. Okay, so it did. Okay, good. At least it both sides. Toolbox there. Put toolbox there. All right, let's buy that. Confirm. Purchase. Put in Wenatchee. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now. Go. 
trailer management. Eh, eh. Let's let's grab this trailer. How do I take it? Yes, I want to swap the current trailer. The coyote says it's 16 here. 16 degrees Celsius. I have 17, yeah. so that's pretty close. <clears throat> it's 10 degrees Celsius in Logan Lake. All right, so we have the Super B now. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. All right. Um, before we get going, let's do this giveaway. Okay. I'm going to click it right now. Uh, membership. Huh? Oh, here we go. Okay. Here comes oh, the first. Just a, <clears throat> Sorry, what? And just an, just an FYI, your microphone is rubbing against your beard. So am I kind of like breathing into it? <clears throat> Appreciate that. I don't know if it's any better or not, but here's the first five. Who, who gets it? Here we go. Oh, can you do it in vertical and horizontal? Yes. Okay. First five, I did it on the horizontal. Uh, Derek LeBron, Adrian G, Teresa Goldsmith. Let's ride. Hey, let's ride. You're in. Uh, and James Mc McLean. Let's ride is in the chat. So let's go do it in vertical now just for the sake of doing five here and five there there we go see let's rides already in, in in the green because let's rides been a member before okay and, and then we have christopher mcbean spirit of a anu max ferguson eric porter and beth simmons there we go yeah, Let's Ride's been a member before, so it went straight onto the green. There we go. That's that's the ten. I don't think I can give any more. I well, I can. Anybody can give memberships. Anyone can gift memberships by uh, clicking that little money symbol down at the bottom of the chat and paying for memberships. And then you give memberships to random people. Hey, Greg. Long time no see. Greg Mercer. All right. So, yeah, YouTube randomly picks 10 people, right? So I got five on, on the two different streams. Cool. I was up North Street, Neil. How's it Vowen? It's Vowen, good. Going good. <laughs> All right, let's try these super bees. So, Jess, are you still in Wen Wenatchee or or in Yakima or? No, I'm in Wenatchee. I'm, up, I, I, I'm right there waiting for you. So, do you have trailers or? No. So you you're just so you'll be running. You don't have to worry about what kind of load I pick. Exactly. Okay. My trailer is somewhere and I didn't feel like going to get no, it. No, it's first. actually better for multiplayer if, if you don't have trailers. Yeah, congrats I saw everyone. It. What the? Hey. So there's a few of them by you, Greg. So there's actually 14 new fires in the last 24 hours. You talking to me? Hey? Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, I'm just supposed to talk. Stop talking. Got it. I'm like, I stopped. What do you want? 
I hit something. I don't know what I hit. I don't think that counts as a crash. Every time I crashed into something, um, that money goes into charity. So we got our crash counter up. I'm at $51. So here, let's look at our menu and see what load we're taking. I just keep an eye on um, BC Well Fire website. So we don't have Montana explored. So any loads going into Montana, I'd be happy with. Uh, we have a little bit to explore down here, but it's pretty much done. And we got. Phyllisburg and Marysville up here. So let's see if we can head to Montana, explore some of this. Get every city. I mean, there's tons of roads I've never driven on, but let's at least get all the cities. Because I play so few, rarely. Um, job market. Let's see. Um, we have our own. trailers so uh, sort this by price per distance oh, Mike will you send the ring this way we need it it gets to Montana but not very far so there's a possible load there I'm sure a lot of lumber Ooh, I like that one. I like that one. <clears throat> I like that one too, but the other one pays more. Okay, let's go back to that one. Uh, nine hours and three minutes. Okay, begin begin delivery. <clears throat> you should be able to grab it now, Jess. And then get back. Oh boy. Yeah, we've got forest fires going on all over the place. They're not very big ones yet, but I have to learn how to play with super bees in game. Kills me. No detailed job data available. Okay. So maybe I have to wait to actually pick it up? Maybe. Alright, I'll... let's look at the map. So you know where to go. It's at the Bushnell place uh, outside of town. That one, right? Up. Yep, that one. Except that entrance, not this one. But. I want to turn left here. Fire Chief in Prince George area is showing a film test about fire years ago and about fire smart. I noticed we did a lot more control burns this year, so that's good. Um, so wide awake, these uh, giveaways, I try to do them every five weeks or so, so in, in, in in four weeks, the people that have won will be dropped off, and then in about five weeks, I'll do another giveaway. Whoever won the membership, you can also email me an address, and I will send you some stickers as well, because all members that want stickers can get stickers.
Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think. I don't know. You can correct me if you're I'm wrong. I think if you don't have a membership, you can still pay PayPal is five dollars in a mobile amount. Yeah. 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 Because that's about how much this thing uh, is. Oops. Am I? I love to to you. I didn't feel it. I didn't get damaged, so. So. There's. I can't see. I, I rolled forward. Um, there's stickers for how long you've been a member for. Everybody gets those if you send me an address. And then all the emojis, the custom emojis if you're a member. I've got a sticker of all the custom emojis. So if you do the $5 a month, you get this whole sheet of stickers. Plus you get a bigger bumper sticker, high quality sticker. So if you want those, just send me an address. I might not get it to you in a timely manner. It might be a month or two, especially if you're a brand new member. But well, see, it, it's already marked over here where to pick up the load. See you. Where's their green line? Where's Did you get to stop at the no. green box? There we go. I'm going to just accept that. Oh, turn the engine off. Hit enter. Okay. Now I'm loaded, so now let's see if you can pick up that load. <coughs> I don't know if I can do this. No. Michael's okay. like vertical traffic lights. Weird. No, it is not like your job. Because Super B? You should be able to get Super B, so. Yeah. Okay, just let me know what city you're going to. And maybe I can get it this other way. Um. Load is going to Harv, H A V R E, Haver, Hav, Haver. What state? Montana. Do I not have Montana? Maybe. Oh, I do. Right on top, up, up, right there. That's where we're going. But there's only one load available. Doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna get out of your way while I look at the menu again. Um, Wide Awake says that hopefully you get notice. Can you usually get your no notification after the, st the stream has ended? Um, you don't have to be in the live stream to win. Yeah, you don't have to be in the live stream to win memberships. So as long as you have it on, and I, I don't know what the what I'm not sure what qualifies you to win or not. Do you have to be subscribed or do you only have to come and comment? I'm not sure. Stormy in Fraser Valley, high winds. Yeah, it was kind of windy here too. I was going to go for a bike ride, but it was windy enough for me to go. It's plus 15. And a little bit windy. I'm like, eh, I'm gonna be a potato and not go for a bike ride. You took yours through convoy? Hmm? Did you take your contract through the convoy? Mm, not necessarily. I, I don't have to take my contract through convoy. I just go to job market and then click external market. It was on external market. Did 
the fact that you don't have a trailer, you can't do that. How are you wide? Huh? Oh, how are you wide? Wide awake. You're talking to wide awake. It was like, Michael's insulting me. Oh shoot, I need to sleep. Let's take a look at the map. Not moving quick yet. Uh, there's nowhere to sleep. Oh, I'm gonna backtrack. We are gonna backtrack over here to get our sleep. Or, I guess, coffee. How's our fuel? Uh, we're almost a full tank. I recognize this part of the road. I've been here in real life. I've pulled over right in front of that blue building to do a load secure check. During the day, you were hot and stormy, and now it's... Or during the day, you were hot and sunny, and now it's stormy. I was going to try to do a U-turn there, but that's not going to work. I'm actually not a fan of getting up that early. 6 a.m. is my preferred... phone is always tricky. So I went to get that activated, but it didn't work. Damage? What, how am I getting damage? I'm just driving down a dirt road. How are you giving me damage? I'm not hitting anything. Just, just just drove by in front of me. Jess. My preferred work shift is uh, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's my preferred work shift. The boss would like it to be 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., but it's like at about 9 p.m. I start getting tired, so I, I like to have in Canada we are only required to have eight hours off overnight, but I, I pre prefer ten hours because you need an hour or two to just unwind and chill a bit. Make a day. Left hand turn here. Following Jess. Don't sleep. What? 
That's what I'm doing. I'm coming to get coffee. Unless to the right, though. No, I, you can't exit. You know, unless you want me to fly off of the road. Ooh, the road's down below. I can't Superman off the bridge. I would show you as possible. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> I made it here in good time, and don't ask me how. I won't. Your work schedule is 6 a.m. to 2.30. Which one do I go into? says usually you just sit back and listen when watching our channel. I appreciate all the support. Last month was a really good month. This month has not been fabulous on watch time. Might as well fuel up. But last month we hit um, the Coca-Cola like three times, right? So that made it a fabulous week, month for watch time, um, and we made 500 bucks off of YouTube last month. This month we're not going to get there. Although, um, Phantom just gave us a $50 super chat on the regular video. On that regular bonus video. So that was a little crazy. That that's definitely gonna make this a better month. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Backing up a Super B in game will be harder than in real life. That's okay. I mean to. I mean to jackknife. Jackknife the two trailers that is. Last week you split your trailer to deliver the spots. Yeah, that that'll be some good videos. Actually, the next two weeks of videos are a little more interesting. Like like the last two weeks have been kind of boring. I. Like I uh, was saying, the views are down, but the videos are kind of boring. But we have we have some interesting stuff coming up, like a ferry ride. I think that's a Friday's video coming up. But and then the week after our Alberta trip. Two inches of snow. Where'd that come from? So where are you? You're in front of me. Yeah, I was waiting for you. Yeah, that blue and yellow van? Yep. Go 
little too wide, but not wide enough. The Super B follows me very nicely. You went to high school in Florida. That's a crazy state. <laughs> heartbreaks, heartbreaks. Second favorite spot to talk about. Texas and then Florida. But not California, right? You guys are enemies with California, right? <clears throat> yeah. Ah, big shovel, heavy, heavy equipment operator. Seems like a fun job actually. Like a front end loader or like a big excavator? I wasn't even born when you graduated. <laughs> yeah. Here I was thinking I was getting old. Did I just call Wide Awake old? I think I did. Should wait for a coyote to pipe up. No comment. <laughs> and yeah, Michael's just a youngin. Too humid and not off that one. Yeah, I suggested to Jess that we should move back to Manitoba and she goes, no mountains. No mountains and mosquitoes. No thank you. Lloydminster does not have a lot of mosquitoes. It's funny playing the game and going, I've driven these roads in real life. Highway 2 is a very scenic highway with no shoulders, smaller shoulders than the game puts in. <coughs> Michael can have a lot of Stop adventure in front of him Stop if he chooses to. So many people choose not to. People, people choose to just stay in where, where they grew up and never go and explore. You need to go, uh, go for an adventure and explore. Wait till he talks about how crazy his job is and he won't listen to us to go get a better one. Should I honk my horn? No, just wait for the brand. Oh, see, it worked. <laughs> you have a nicer sounding horn. I'm not angry because I'm tired. I started this stream way later than I wanted to, so. It's not going to be as long of a stream as I wanted it to be. But I like these in our live streams for the sake of I can talk to you guys now instead of I record the video and then you guys talk about that video two weeks after I recorded it. Yeah, Michael, so you better start uh, paying respect to uh, Wide Awake there and then start uh, saying Grandma Wide. Coyote's disappearing? Wipers. Or is, is Coyote just waving hi or are you, are you going, going to bed? 
hours. And it's, it's late enough for bed. Time is... Yeah, no. It's, it's, it's almost 9 p.m. You got your wipers going, huh? Yeah, is it not raining no, for you? No rain for me. Oh. Ooh, now you're asking people how old they are. First off, that's not very polite. Coyote's just saying hi. Um, second off, you shouldn't share your age on the internet. There's me. It would be very easy for my clue to figure that out, so have you thought about it? What you're getting? Wide Awake is given enough information that you should, pin, should be able to pinpoint age to like a year or two. Just by saying what year you graduate gives away a lot more information than you think. Where are we? Is this by Grand Coulee? Oh yeah, Grand Coulee Dam straight ahead. Okay, I thought I recognized this. Haven't driven this road very often. This should bring us down to uh, through to Spokane, I think. I have to go through Denver. Not Denver? No, what's that city called? Uh, Wilbur for sure. I don't know if they'll the game puts it in, but Wilbur should be the next town. Davenport? Davenport. Yeah, Wilbur and Davenport should be the next town. This way on your run to Montana. Go past Grand Coulee Dam, and then at Wilbur you turn onto this road, right? I think I've never taken the big rig on this road. Maybe I have once or twice, but. There's a scale on Highway 2 here that's never open. Never ever see it open. Uh, that's if you told Facebook your actual real birthday. A lot of people don't. Idaho to Sandpoint, Kalispell, to Great Falls. Yeah, I've driven that a couple times. Kalispell is kind of beautiful. Hey, there's the scale. We're next to a military base, too. I guess the town of Wilbur and Davenport are not in this game. Never open in real world. Go too far, maybe. Yeah. Well, those old machines that they built post war, they built those to last. Board out so I can hit enter. Nope, nope, I won't take out that sign. to go wide enough. As long as I don't take out the sign, we're okay. I didn't take it out. That's close though. Uh, that's just 
smart reply. I like it. I see a trucker Josh knows his best view. I've tried it a couple of times in real world, but I move my head way too much. Maybe, maybe if you guys uh, keep the money coming in, we'll buy another camera and I'll use it. I'll just record or put a, like a helmet or a head visor on and just use that camera view sparingly. Maybe that might work. A trucker drive somehow can do all those videos with one camera. And that's why it takes him all day from night. Day to, like, this morning to the end of the night, right? It takes him all day to record a video. I feel he doesn't drive as many hours as I do. Last time I just went and bought the cameras on the laptop and then you guys have slowly been paying them off. Which I appreciate. Phantom. Whoa! Whew. That truck scared me. There's a traffic jam there. Whew. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Entering Spokane. Thank you, Phantom, for the super things. Yeah, they, that was a that was a bit of a surprise. You're going to be listed in the credits under Super Thanks for like five dollars equals one month. So what is that? Ten? No. <laughs> I can't math. This is so yeah, that's so easy, but I'll let you figure it out. Oh yeah, that's ten, right? Yeah, ten months. I was like, this is so easy. It's like, yeah. Ten months. Ten months you're gonna be on the on the super chat credits already. That was a beautiful video though. That that was it's it's cool when the members get the best video all week. I'm like, I almost feel guilty that not only the members will get to see it, but hey, whatever we decide to record and the video just turns out so awesome. I, I like that video. That was a fun drive. Was that not a long video? I've been getting lots of comments complaining about how long my videos are. But, but really the way I look at it is, I keep getting the comments of all the successful YouTubers are making videos 20-25 minutes long. And I should do that too. Well, if my videos are exactly the same length as everybody else's, what? Why would you go watch my videos when you can just watch everybody else that is successful? More successful. Oh, shoot, we're exiting here. Go on. Going up. I'm like, maybe you'll see that I moved over. Nah. So if, if my videos are exactly like everybody else's with the same camera angles and the same type of videos, why would you come watch my video if, if I'm just the cookie cutter of all the other people's videos? They say I-90 is the longest route through the U.S.? I'm sure that TransCanada is longer going through Canada. I don't remember about lights. 
I've never traveled on Amtrak trains, so that'd be kind of fun to do someday. It's a little tricky to get through the green lights, but this one stay green. Um, Look, blinds people. Okay, not that one. You're laying a fence, dude. Doesn't. Yes. I, I didn't realize that. Did you let off the throttle? Learn to look farther ahead. I was behind you. All I saw was a wall. Here, here. I know the perfect payback. Oh, now I'm getting flashed. Turn your damn brights yeah. off. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. hey. Right, this is this is our family friendly channel. I can't swear. I'm sure the kiddos are in bed by now. Okay, sweet. All the kiddos are in bed. I still try to keep it. Keep it uh, respectful. Because nowhere in my Bible does it say thou shalt not swear. No, ours wasn't New Mexico. Ours is nearby in Colorado when we had the tornado. Remember that? I'm not sure what you're talking about. By the way, he's talking about tenting one time in New Mexico. Okay. I remember that one trip we did the Four Corners and then we slept in Colorado. Was it in Colorado? I think so. But it was right around the four corners, so not far oh, into Colorado. That was my bad. I'm sorry, trucker. Yeah, that yeah, was that near the four corners in Colorado. We went and set up our... Or went to a campground, and the campground's empty. And there's nobody camping. It's the middle of the summer. The guy even asked us if we were sure. He's like, so you guys are tenting? Are you guys sure? You guys gonna be okay? There's storms in the forecast. It's like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We put an extra tarp on top of the tent, and our tent kept collapsing down in the wind. It was like laying on top of us. It was so incredibly windy. And heavy rain managed to reinforce it inside so it wasn't collapsing down us. And then I fell asleep and slept through the night. I slept great, but the hard, hard rain on the outside of the tent, it was just fabulous. And then in the morning we set take everything up and had a great night. I slept well. And uh, we turned on the radio and listened to the news and a tornado went by us just a couple of miles away. We go. Explains the hard rain and the wind. The thing I remember from that campground is the guy next to us. There was one guy with a guitar, mm. and he was stuck inside. So all he did was play his guitar. I remember that. Have sound of rain at night. Agreed. Actually, in a tin roof. It's the same trip I gave my Bible away. Remember that? What? When I gave my Bible away? Mm -hmm. oh, this is the Sandpoint Bridge. Yeah, that was some. That, that was some. That was a good trip. I want more of that. Yeah. That was a big trip, though. We went down. But I want to share it with you two. I want to share it with, you, with, that yeah. with everybody. That one we went down the 101. Oregon Coast, California. Did Hoover Dam. Yeah. Four Corners, everything went up to Yellowstone. If you can picture that big loop. That 
That was a good trip. We're in Sandpoint now, I guess in Ponderay. We went all the way to Newfoundland and back, sleeping on the back of our canopy of our truck. That's really one of our first YouTube videos of, you know, traveling, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, we had a hotel every four or five nights or whatever, yeah. but most of that whole month was spent in the back of our canopy. You guys have been watching the videos, right? On how I got this car. Yeah, it, it's still painful, so it's not done healing, so this car will probably get... I just got bumped. <laughs> Someone just rear-ended me. But yeah, there's there's a bit of a scar over there. I don't recommend skydiving into a concrete floor. I'm not counting that as a crash when Jess rear-ends me. That's, that's not... Green, green, green. Oh, I need to take a nap, so. Like right now, or I'll stop at the next spot? No, the next spot. Because <clears throat> that way we are synchronized with the scene. Okay, let's look for a place we can. Well, it looks like my lights are on at all, but then I blind you if I do that, so. So just turned out so low and I don't have lights and I don't know. Are we what are we doing up here? We're in what's this town called? Bonner's Ferry. Bonner's Ferry. Interesting route. Kootenai River, going over Kootenai River. Kootenai spelt with an I at the end instead of Y. In Canada, the same river is also Kootenai River, but it's spelt with a Y instead of an I. There's a scale at the top of the corner here at Bonner's Ferry. <clears throat> yeah, we want to get an RV. That, that's kind of what we want to do is take an RV, take all our cameras with, and record what we're doing right now with the trucking channel. And just scales closed. Yeah, let's go to that sleeping gas station where we slept a couple of times. We've slept here in the real world. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? RV. Oh yeah, we would love to make enough money on YouTube to at least go part-time trucking and part-time RVing and show you guys Canadian roads. All the back roads we're not allowed to take on the, with a big rig. That would be pretty fabulous. And then, like, really show you guys what Canada is like, all the way from here to Newfoundland. And, and just. We want to focus more on the Canadian side because the US side is covered very well. Yeah. yeah. Do a Canadian RVing thing different than what everybody else does. Can I see if the game... Yeah, it looks like we would park the same place where we would park in real life. I grew up camping as well. Mm -hmm. I grew up camping though. Okay. Why am I not getting the trigger? Do I turn my engine off? No. Where's the trigger? <coughs> Maybe it's on the scale. But that says we can't go into there. This is confusing. Here. You figure out the tree. Hey, watch my hood! Hey, I went back a little. Or should I try Hang it? Hang 
drivers these days. I've got a super bee and I'm supposed to back up. Depends. Depends upon the trigger place. Not finding one. <clears throat> nope, she stopped. Let's not crash into her now. Where's the trigger for sleeping? I'm trying to find one. But I have a big trailer behind me and it's not working as well as I wanted. Let's see that. <clears throat> Where's Jess going? Okay. Trying to avoid you. Come on, silly game, let us. Sleep here. Here. <clears throat> I don't get yeah. it. I don't want to be a car in a car with my clan anyways. It's okay. Look on the map, it shows it right here. Mm. Doesn't make sense to me. Oh, there. Found one. I parked there already. I know, but I found it. Hang on, where exactly is it? Um. Right beside, like a. It popped up? Yeah. Uh, we're used to Michael from the other gaming channel. Yeah, Michael's actually a moderator on our other channel. We can uh, tease each other quite a bit. As in, rip Michael a new one and he just keeps coming back. Yeah, for some reason he keeps coming back. We don't know why. Sucker for punishment. Chronic liar, though. Just a heads up. Chronic liar. Where's this trigger? Okay, look. Right, no, okay, uh. For me, the blue line. Where's the blue line on the truck? There's no blue line on that truck. You had a different color truck than I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's not there. I'm gonna do one more pass. I think I just hit that log. They really need to make those sleep triggers bigger. That's my one big complaint about this game. Is the sleep triggers. Okay, so you went right on the tracks? Did you go close to the truck? Jess? I'm trying to see. <laughs> if I go over there I'll be I'll be able to see the truck again. Where did you go? Closer to the truck? Further away from the truck? I felt the distance you are. Let's go down the road. I'm done. I'm done. You're done. If you had the same truck, it would have been a little bit easier.
that, that's, that's definitely a beef I have with this game. Is the sweet triggers are obnoxious. You're not that bad of a chronic liar. You've been really decent recently, but you used to be much worse. Drove through the nuts. Okay. It's like I don't have lights unless I turn the high beam. Turn the high beams on. Why? Are, are you sure you don't have lights on? You definitely don't have lights on. No, I do, because I hit a different key before hitting that key. Yeah. yeah. So you, you weren't actually running with the lights. I, I had to hit that button. Whatever button that was. <laughs> now I have lights. You were just turning your high beams on and off and using the rest of your lights on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what was happening. It's actually a beautiful road in real world too. I've slept on some of these pull-ups here before. How was the brisket, Michael? I asked I asked Michael if I could come over for a brisket and he just goes no. No explanation, just no. Kootenai River, headed to Great Falls. I like ribs. I really like the flavor of ribs. They're too expensive for how little meat you get. I, I will not buy ribs in a restaurant. Oh, this is a, I know this town. I know this town. Uh, Troy. I just saw it there. Troy. I remember pulling over in Troy and looking under the truck and oil was just pouring out of my differential. And I, I'm like, as long as it's still leaking, there's oil in it. I drove all the way to Bonner's Ferry. It's just the truck and trailer just spewed with oil and uh, Bonner's Ferry had the shop repair and put a new gasket in there. The reason I was leaking oil was the shop's fault, but because I broke a drive. Uh, the scales never open in real life, but maybe I can go sleep here and get a coffee. Uh, I agree with I you, broke. Michael. I broke a CV joint in the drive shaft. Yes, Michael. Ribs, too much bone. It's not worth the money. Attention, you would know this by now. I've slept here too in the real world. Phantom, thank you. Uh, Doug Peterson has also won a membership. Phantom just gifted a membership. Phantom is a phantom. Phantom is doing phantom gifting. Thank you, I appreciate that. Basically, if you gift a membership, I get the money from that membership gifting. Not, not, so if you gift the membership, not only do you give me money, you also give somebody access to our bonus videos. So Doug, Doug Peterson just won. Okay, I'm just like, there better be a trigger point here. 
grab a coffee. You like the ribs from Pasta Factory? I don't think I ever have. I, I just don't order ribs because... Same with uh, wings. I don't order wings because all it is is bones too. You're not, not paying for meat. You're just paying for bones. San Antonio. San Antonio, yeah, we went there once, took the boat ride down on the, the river canals down there, whatever they're called. Just beautiful. We went to the animal. Yep, did that. I didn't know much about the Alamo until we visited, and I'm like, wait. I'm trying to learn about the Alamo, I'm like, wait, all of this is basically celebrating a loss. It's like, Mexico won that fight. Yeah, was it Mexico or would it be just the Spanish who won that fight? I don't quite remember. Is there any con oncoming vehicles? Not that I see. If you see one, warn me. Passing double smaller. There's a car broken. Oh, there's a car coming. Okay, back in our lane. This would never happen in real life. Truckers talking on the VHF or CB radio and then passing on a double solid. That would never actually happen. Ever. Personally, I don't feel comfortable doing it, but it happens. Okay, so you eat a whole bunch of casseroles and salads to save up money to go to the butcher. That's kind of cool. Getting the meat from the butcher is probably the best way of doing it, right? You're, you're skipping the middleman. Skip the grocery store. The problem for us is space. You have to buy everything in small quantities. Red light. Sign say turn lane only? I'm not sure. I'm going straight. We had a um, Mexican food place in the boardwalk. Riverwalk. Yeah, on the Riverwalk. Yep, went to the Mexican joint. I had live music. The live music people came and started playing a song and then wanted money. Like, no, no, not giving you money. If I was a restaurant, I would have paid them a certain amount. Uh, red. I would have paid them a certain amount, and then they could make the rest of the money off of tips. But because the music gives you the ambiance, right? The live music. Did Santa's Wonderland? That one was really fun. The Re Renaissance Festival as well. Yeah, there. And then we did Space Center. Yeah. In Houston, that was fabulous. We only spent a week down there, but we made the most of it. <laughs> Coming into Kalispell. I haven't discovered Kalispell. Yeah, I have. I. Oh no. 
You're not much of a dessert eater? I'm a huge dessert eater. Hence, you know. Now, where are my cookies? We, we you call take a cookie my cookies. Monster, but he... No. Oh, they're right here. Oh, enough. me love my cookies. This message approved by Cookie Monster. Um, dum, 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 dum. Callous Bell discovered. Holy. <laughs> oh, you heard the lo brakes lock up? <laughs> I was looking at a comment and all of a sudden there's a stop truck in front of me. Those brakes definitely locked up. I'm so happy there's nobody beside me. Oh, that, that was horrible watching you. Whew. I looked over to <laughs> Did you see <laughs> me swerve? That's the nice thing about having the steering wheel. It reacts yeah. just like you would in real life, so it actually, actually helps you act, avoid accidents. I looked over to warn you, and I was like, nah, I'm not going to. I was trying to read the comments. So we're playing the game down here. I've got all the comments up there. I've got both, both streams. The horizontal and the vertical stream on, on the screen, on right, right on top of the, the webcam. Be nice, Mr. Cobb. And then on the monitor up here, that way, I've got OBS, uh, my portal, touch portal, and my death counter. You know the crash counter thing running up there. And then the screen down here, I've got the actual YouTube. Life. So, something Juan taught me to do when I moved up here was to order dessert first. Because you're always full. You're always too full for dessert. Wide awake, man. Right? Holy. But what I didn't know was that my Nana did that for years and years. She would order dessert first, take half the meal home for leftovers for the next day. Yeah. Like if you want, if you want to treat yourself, that's not a crash. I didn't hit anything. I didn't, Michael. I didn't hit anything. That's not a crash. Nobody else is moving. I'm okay. Just barely turn red. It's fine. <laughs> Should make a red light counter instead of a crash counter. <laughs> This looks very familiar. After Kalispell, we've I've delivered up here before. This is a big flying J on the right hand side of the real world. We've delivered lumber up here. Um, entering Columbia Falls. Columbia Falls, yep, that's familiar. Yep, delivered in Columbia Falls before. I love frosting. I don't have it here. I had I had a can of the chocolate frosting here just just before the stream. I do drink a lot of water, so I'm healthy. I'm I, I I I live very healthy by drinking a lot of water. This video brought to you, but no 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 it's not it's not. I still have their merch everywhere. Red. You know what red lights are for? Don't tempt me. I don't like 
cream cheese frosting. No, I don't like cream cheese at all. There's a texture thing. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Water is life. See? If you drink lots of water, you're healthy. No matter what else I eat, this is the healthy part. I don't drink coffee. I drink a little bit of tea. A little bit of chocolate milk once every two or three weeks. I'll have... I'll have a Crown Royal and Coke every two or three months, maybe. <laughs> like when we're sick, <laughs> we treat it like medicine. I drink water. Yeah. When we go to a restaurant, I'll usually have like an iced tea or a root beer. But we don't go to restaurants very often. On the truck, we have water, and then we have lemonade, red light. But lemonade helps you with kidney stones. So it's healthy to have a lemonade of all things. Yeah, lemonade uh, softens up a kidney stone. Since I've had three of those now in my trucking career. Best truck stop dessert ever. TA in Aurora. Strawberry shortcake in season. No, he doesn't like rabbit food. Rabbit food? Oh, that's Michael. I love rabbit food. Look, look at my steering wheel. I think my my uh, front tire is, needs balancing. See it shaking. Just for the record, in real, my steering wheel shakes like that. In, in, in real life, my steering wheel shakes the way it does in game. When I let go of the steering wheel, you can see the shaking. That's the force feedback shaking the wheel. So until I grab it solid, it'll shake in game like that. So I'm getting the force feedback on my wheel. I played Forza 5 today for the first time, and there's some serious force feedback on that. A pull out you can sleep on. Oh, we've been here in real life too. The first time we came this way, it was a surprise. We had no idea we were going into the scene. Like, it looks really familiar. Very tight, windy roads. Those are our favorite roads. If you go this way in real life, you miss bypass, what is it, Christmas Pass or something like that? On I-90? What is that icon on the left? Hmm. Icon on the left? I don't know. I don't you don't have, have an icon. The... Yeah, you don't have that map on. There was a weird icon that goes that way. The International Park goes that way and there's a gate to get in. Trucks aren't allowed. So I don't know how we have to explore that road without using trucks, but... Yeah, that'd be a fun road to take on bike. I agree, that would be a gorgeous road. We should look into ordering those foot pedals for your brother's bike and then go out somewhere this year again. Okie dokie. Should head over to their place. We'll see how next weekend is and then just talk to them and see what we can find. So girl. Do you need a sleeping spot yet? You're gonna need one before me. I'm like halfway right now, so. Salads. I just can't eat salads. It's like it's just this is food. It's like eating grass. Like that's what the texture is to me. It's like it just 
Oh, that waterfall is beautiful. It's uncomfortable. Waterfall. I didn't see a waterfall. I saw the train track going underneath us. Mouth to like salad. The flavor's fine. The texture is just. Yeah, I complained about being too skinny and needing to gain weight. Michael, don't worry. You're young enough. One of these days you're gonna stop gaining in height, and all of a sudden you're gonna start gaining. Gaining uh, sideways, and then you'll be wishing you were. Hey, Riley. Uh, it's not Riley. It's not Coeur d'Alene. We're we're in Montana. Um, we're where are we? We're we're east of Kalispell, east of Columbia Falls. Um, why do I keep? That? Juan's very textured. He doesn't like peppers, tomatoes, onions, any. It's a texture like, thing. It's a texture thing. It doesn't matter how much I doctor some things up, he doesn't like it. I can't read that sign, or else we'd have a better idea of where we were. There's one coming up. Uh, East Glacier. Park east, east Glacier. So that's the entrance to Glacier National Park. Just the east gate. Okay. We've been here. Oh yeah, I recognize this. Been here in real life. See that'd be too much of a texture change for one. Very much a texture person. So thanks to Phantom, we've given out eleven memberships. Ten free ones for us and one from Phantom sixty seven. So eleven eleven random memberships. Thank you for all that. It means it means a lot. So We're also working hard to monetize our 3Js channel now. We just need watch time. We've, we just hit 500 subscribers on that channel. We just need like 1,300 hours of watch time, something like that. So I don't know how we're going to manage to do that. But we'll be on that channel tomorrow morning. In about 8 or 9 hours after we end this stream. So if you guys are into the gaming stuff, we play Farming Sims almost every weekend on the other channel. Like, I used to do that stuff on this channel, but I've moved all but the trucking gaming off of this into our other channel. And the other channel, it, there's three of us that play that game, or host that game, so it's, it's... I know, I'm becoming my own network. A mini little network. But uh, I host on the three J's, Jess hosts on the three J's, and then my brother James hosts on the three J's, hence the three J's. Is that just about the games there? We like to chat there. So wide awake. Then I truly haven't been hungry yet. Do you know how hungry one was as a kid? There's pictures of me. White hair, no nutrients, and that big, what those distended stomachs? Yeah, I can't find the picture of that. I think Mom probably stole them and hit them because she's embarrassed about them. I think. Because of how I was brought up so poor and no food and I 
think that's changed the way I eat because of that. Like, for a while there I lived off of bananas and oranges. It's a yellow light. Okay, orange. It's an orange light. Well, there's a lot of stuff that says you have to introduce foods and textures to kids before a certain age. Mm. Always be you become picky eaters. And we didn't have food. And you never got that, right? You know what a huge treat was? Huge treat. There's two huge treats we had as a kid. I can think of three now. We only get this every now and then. Dad would actually buy us some food. My dad never went hungry, ever. He hasn't gone hungry a day in his life. But the rest of the family did. Uh, every now and then, he would buy us a can of beans. And we got to eat a little bit of those, like just a couple of spoonfuls of the can of beans. And that was magical. Uh, the other treat would be those, those little weenies, what are those called? Those little, short little... The Vienna sausages. Vienna sausages. That was the other one. Had those every now and then. Rarely, but enough to go. That was a special treat. And then every now and then a peddler would drive house to house with his like camper in the back. And he would be selling treats. And mom would buy us this little circle treat called Mazapan. It's like a peanut butter treat. And we'd have to share that with the four of us kids. And that was a huge treat, too. Um, after the first couple of years in Belize, we always had a couple of cows or pigs. And then we, then we ate well. Then we ate a lot of meat. The reason I live on oranges and bananas is because in Belize it just grows everywhere. You would just literally be walking down the road looking for trees in the forest for oranges growing and pick them and that, that'd, be, that'd be the food we eat. But now I eat cookies and drink water. And you also grew up with electricity and stuff like that, right? People. We had electricity on almost every one of our houses. That is something we did have. Well, TV and stuff, oh, no, right? Yeah, no TV. But we had a couple of light bulbs in the house. I think almost every one of our houses had. Not all of the first ones, but I'd have very little memory of those. But we did have a little bit of electricity. Enough for light bulbs at night. I'm glad your pot roast turned out good. Yeah, didn't didn't have a TV until high school. We found one in a junkyard. Literally, we we drove to junkyards and collected stuff from junkyards back in the day. And I snuck a TV out of one of little black and white TV would watch it in secret in the garage. No, not even in the garage, like a little shed in the backyard. Watch that in secret. Eventually dad found out and came and smashed it with a crowbar. That was high school. And then mom went and bought what we thought was a big screen TV. I think it was like a 26 inch bought a Super Nintendo. That was the day that mom put her foot down when dad smashed our little TV. Um, Michael, as far as we know, he's still alive. We don't really care, like, sadly. The guy's really a monster. I'm guessing we're talking about my dad, because I don't see that yeah. message. Um, he asked if your dad's still living. I, 
I believe so. I would probably be told if he w wasn't. Somebody probably would tell me, but I haven't seen him in years. Uh, good night, Phantom. Yes, thank you again, Phantom. Really appreciate it. My dad is a lot of inappropriate things that I probably shouldn't talk about on YouTube, but uh, should be in jail. But instead, he's a Sunday school teacher instead. Which is really sickening to think about. Get to the point where I need a spot to, to uh, get a coffee. Four. Um, I'll just say... Um, what? Let's... Try to make this polite. Um, so, unaliving attempts have been made from my father to my mom. And, uh, and I appeared at the station. Non-family friendly massages happen a lot. I may have a bunch of half brothers and sisters. Bestiality is a thing. Eat my father. <laughs> so yeah, we don't really talk to him. You gonna get fuel as well? Mm, I'm not lined up properly. I don't really need fuel. I found a sleeping spot if you see where I am. Yes. Just perked like that, not even into a lot space stall thing. That was a half a tank of fuel, so popping off. Well, I'm at three quarters, but not the end of the world. You use a lot less fuel in your truck than mine. I slept in front of those two trucks. Come on. Oh, there it is. It's a very odd space because <laughs> you wouldn't do that, right? Nope. But Darn car, why did you pull it in front of me? Yeah, I went through some stuff as a kid, but it doesn't bother me now, right? It's like I, I have no animosity against the dude. You get over it, right? It's like time to move on, you can control what you can control. And yeah, he would also beat the living daylights out of me. side was so black and blue I couldn't sit in class. How I hid that from the teachers I never know. Okay. 
but that's okay. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't think about that. I don't like. I've got. I mean, I guess there's baggage from it, but not anything that bothers me. Like, you, you get, you get past that. You move on. I suffered from pretty severe depression, but you know, just fix that. When you get when you get unconditional love, that fixes a lot of that problem. It's, it's kind of funny that both me and my brother don't have kids. And I think that's probably got to do with how we were treated as kids. We don't want to turn into him. Yeah. Of, yeah. Both of my sisters had kids. But, but that's expected of them in the Mennonite culture. Right? A dangerous part of Dallas. I wouldn't call that a town. You grew up in a city. I, I guess gangs are a thing where you live. That's something I've never dealt with. Good night, Phantom. Got to work in a hot kitchen in the morning. That doesn't necessarily sound like fun. That much which sent the ten minutes ago. Ow, ooh, ow. What? Thank you. Phantom sent the ten ow. minutes ago? Yeah. Well, then I'm late at responding. I'm sorry, Phantom. You need to send me some money to fix my truck now. Why is that my fault? Because <laughs> I looked at what time it was in real life. <laughs> Grew up all over BC, US, and overseas. We lived in multiple different places. I know Belize was house one, house two, and I think house three was in Mexico. I'm trying to think if we had two different houses in Mexico or not. I can only remember one. And back to Please. One, two houses in Belize, so that's house five. Then Manitoba, Roland, after Roland, Border Valley. After Border Valley in Manitoba, we went to Ontario. And house one and house two in Ontario, so that's already nine houses. Then Back to Manitoba, that was Schatzenfeld, and Namtal, that's House 11, and then British Columbia, um, Jeremias, Olala, and then I moved out. So House 13 before I moved out. Then people always ask, uh, got that. people always ask, um, oh, you moved so much, were you a military kid? I'm like, no. Well, 
Well, then why do you move so often? <sighs> then do you really want... It's not an easy answer. It is. The real answer is, oh, dad almost got caught and people are... Police, police are asking him questions or the local pastor in the church is coming over and asking questions or the uh, principal of a school is coming and asking questions. Time to move. That's how he kept going on with the abuse every year after year after year by just moving. Have rediscovered. Where is the scale? We have to go around the long way. I don't know. I'm telling you. You're saying we have to. Yep. So we can sleep here first. Oh, you're writing a book about your childhood, or? So close to delivering, and we have to play this game with the scale. <laughs> Should I have come into here? Am I going backwards? Am I literally going through the scale backwards? Is this right? No, the other this... end has a do not enter, so you have to do so it this, this way. So this is right, okay. It's a weird scale. I've never hit this place in real life. Yeah, okay, that is the right way to do this. Cool. So was that foster foster care and then adopted? And your your American dad worked internationally, so you had to travel because of the, okay. That's kinda neat. Very unique. abuse and child trafficking but, but wealthy yeah well we had abuse and uh, not wealthy mom had a fight with my dad to keep him off of my sisters so CP was definitely on on the list as well I'm sure there's a lot that I don't know that happened. Like our own mini little cult. Oh, and then between foster care, you get sent back, back to your parents. Yeah, more abuse, yeah, not great. Oh, you actually had a bullet go through your window. Yeah, that's that's exciting. Sounds good, Coyote. Good night. We're Thanks, gonna call Coyote. It. Appreciate We're gonna it. We'll call it here anyways, too. Yeah, we'll deliver this and then call it a night. Oh, now that we finally have the V train, we'll get explore more of Montana. And I guess in five weeks from now. <laughs> I see a rest here. I'm gonna head to because I know that's a safe spot. Where? 
the rest areas, oh, okay. but... Where were we? I think we were at my cousin's place in Pankuli when all of a sudden we hear the bullet whizzing by through the air. What? Apparently I can't turn there. My exit's in the next one. This is perfectly legal. And then, Michael, maybe we can get further down south again and get to horizontal red lights. No, I'm basically heading back to the scale. Oh well. It's a spy, now I can stop. So he had to pay $10,000 to buy you. Basically, right? $10,000 just to be abused again, right? Yeah. yeah. I think, I think lives like that make us more accepting of other people, right? We're like, okay, I know how I've been treated. Either it breaks you or you come out a lot stronger. And I feel that you and I have both come out of that our situations much stronger and uh, I can be friends with everyone now. Uh, well, I don't put up with hatred. Like in my comments, like I, I, I can, I'm fine what your political beliefs, religious beliefs, I can be friends with a lot of different types of people. It's like I'm friends with left people, right leaning people, with uh, LGBT community, with Christians, with Muslims, with the guy. I have all these friends in these different communities. I can be friends with everybody, but anytime hate comes out, that's I'm pretty much done. It's like I'm with somebody all aboard, and all of a sudden they go, some, they say something racist, and I'm like, okay, I was all team you, but I have, I no longer have anything to do with you, and it shocks people. It's like, I, I was on your team until you said that racist thing. It's like, I am no longer on your team. I, I, I don't want to associate with you. But because of that, I, I get along with a lot of people. Anything I put my mind to, I succeed at doing. Every job I've ever done, I've done really well because I put my mind to it. And it's made me a stronger person. It's been my first delivery with a Super B. What are our options for backing up? So they don't even give us the I can do anything, the hardest option, but they give us this one. We'll take the hardest one, which is easy. Let's see if we can try to get it up done on the first try here. Getting it straight in here will be a little tricky, but. Just about perfect. Let's get the trailer and truck straight. There we go. Got the green light. That, yeah, that's easy. Punch the brakes. Deliver the load. And that's it. Some experience. Excellent time. Got some good experience. 
continue. And we're going to call it there. Yeah, so this was a <laughs> thanks to you, Wide Awake. I really, um, what would you call the conversation? Like, it, it got deep. So, I, I, so, issues I have with a Peterbilt. I drove Peterbilt for one year. Very nice truck. Really enjoyed it. I like the sound. I like the feel. I like the living quarters. I like the Peterbilt a lot. Um, number one, wiring. Both Peterbilt and Kenworth, the uh, pack car wiring on those trucks. You need a new wiring harness every three or four years. They use cheap, cheap wiring on those trucks. So that's a big issue on both Kenworth and Peterbilt. The, it's the same company, right? Packer. Um, but Peterbilt is puts thinner insulation than Kenworth does, so it's a louder truck and a colder truck in, in cold weather. If you're running in the U.S., not a big deal. But dri driving in Canada, when it gets to minus 40, you have frost building up inside your sleeper, your pillow's frozen to the wall. Um, can be problematic. Oh, what was the other thing? Loud? I guess that's the same thing. Insulation. Yeah, the trucks are louder and uh, and uh, and a lot colder in winter conditions. So a Peterbilt is is not not as Canada friendly as a Kenworth is. Wide Awake says, Jess, and you have to have a chat about leaning on motorcycles. Well, I've taught Jess to just not lean at all. I would rather have her not move at all. Just hold on, don't move. Don't counter lean, don't lean into the corner, just don't lean. Just just focus on me and don't 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 lean. And that way once I'm in the corner and if she doesn't move, I can just lean a little further if I need. Or lean a little less if I need. But if she all of a sudden leans halfway through the corner, we're in all sorts of trouble. Uh, my brother James was saying, because my brother and my sister-in-law both ride bikes. And because when, when, when she rides as passenger behind him and her being a rider herself, she leans correctly. But James all of a sudden goes, oh! My wife thinks the corner's done because she's leaning back and also is like, oh, I gotta lean harder. <laughs> so sometimes an inexperienced rider is actually better as long as the rider doesn't panic. Jess is not a panicker. I've put her into situations where I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, we're gonna crash. And she's like all calm, enjoying the ride, smiling. I'm like, no, this is not good. <laughs> so she's not a panicker. Not a panicker at all. I scared the heck out of her the, when she first visited, so. By going on the little goat trails. And after that, everything is good. Survived that, so we gotta be good the rest of the time, right? Um, I think, I think that's it. Ooh. I'm getting some Cheeto puffs. You left these out on the counter for how long? How long have you been streaming? The crunch is kind of leaving them. How long have you been streaming? We've been streaming for two and two hours and 16 minutes. Is it exactly That's how long these have been on the counter. I'll eat them. They're definitely, definitely have a little more. The little bit of crunch is gone. Yeah, the lean will come completely naturally to yeah. So we've got to ride bike a little more often. I I, th I should sell my bike and buy a bike that's better for a passenger. I do like my Triumph Street Triple. It's it's just too tall for her to sit on it. I got to get a lower riding bike. Low rider. Hmm. My brother's bike is much lower. Yeah, at least one of his. Yeah. There's, there's four bikes, 
parked in my brother's garage. Mine, two of his, and then my sister-in-law's. So we have options. I've never driven my sister-in-law's bike, but I wouldn't dare touch that bike. That custom red paint job, metallic, beautiful red custom paint job, I do not want to risk scratching that bike. I'm not riding that bike. Uh, but for now, I'd, I'd get a Harley. Harley engines are so unreliable. I... Yes, there you go, Honda. Get, 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 get something reliable. I, I don't care what people think of me. So the image of Harley, because Harley's really an image thing. I don't give a crap what people think about me. So because of that, I would probably go for a Honda, a Nightwing, or something like that. I think that's the right, right, Nightwing. I think, I think, um, but yeah, something like that, because those things are reliable. What I really would want to get is, is, is a adventure bike. Get like a um, Africa Twin. That would be my dream bike. Get a, get a, get the big Africa Twin. Anyway. I could chat forever here, so I'm going to call it a night. See you guys on the 3 Js channel in about 12 hours, maybe a little less, 9 to 12 hours. I am out of here. Are you, you're off of Discord, aren't you? Yeah. No adios. You guys rock. This video is brought to you in part by the letter C and these YouTube members. Cookie starts with C. What other things start with C? Oh, who cares what other things? C is for cookie and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching. Um, nom 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 nom. That was totally the wrong credits, but whatever.